everyone and welcome back to Sims 4! Oh, as always, I am so excited to be here looking over the two tiny starter homes that we have holding our wonderful sibling set, Lily and Tate. And over here we have the awesome roomies, Bailey and Iris. And you know, once Iris moves in with Lily and Tate, we might have the amazing Spark, who is the new dog on our ZooCast Minecraft server that belongs to our wonderful Lubot, who is now helping Calf with his dinosaurs. It's fun to see how the different series kind of blend into each other here. But we we might have Spark move in with Bailey and they can have kind of like this little technology sort of thing going. Maybe they'll open up a few technology uh, locales here in our little city, our little city of Willow Creek, which is absolutely beautiful, by the way. I mean, look at our science park. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? And I just found out actually that Lily will be able to hunt for space prints in her, her observatory once we get her logic skill high enough. What level is it right now? I think her logic skill is at seven. I think it needs to be at eight, maybe? And then she can come up to her observatory and she can uh, like observe the sky, track satellites, like get space prints. I think that she can do that in her observatory. So that'll be really fun. And speaking of Lily Girl, she is actually getting ready to leave for work. I'm so proud of her. They are working so hard. We've been so good not spending any of the money, collecting lots of household funds, so that hopefully we can invite the lovely, wonderful Iris to move in with us. And then we will move Lily, Tate, and Iris into this beautiful green apple home. I can't wait. And by the way, look at all the cute little kids. They're just all out strolling, strolling to school. Oh, there's that one chica again. Mav, don't worry. We're gonna get you uh, looking looking properly depixelated and dressed soon. Uh, and then, oh, look at him. So sad. So sad, Ricky. I know, going to school sucks. It sucks sometimes. Oh, this looks like another angry child. Jose is, is not feeling very happy about the day either. Goodness, we've got a lot of angry little kids on our hands. But yes, it is early in the morning and Lily is getting ready to leave for work. I think everything should go okay too because she already has beat two people at a chess game. She has already reached level three of the fitness skill and so hopefully she'll have a good day at work. Um, we also, to do well in her job, we want to send her to work when she's in a focused mood and she has just looked at the fossil specimens that we have. In fact, she collected plant or fossil prints from the Velociraptor claw here. Oop, collect microscope sample. Doo, doo, doo. Just gonna collect these once again. We'll get those those up and going. Don't wake your brother. He was up all night gardening, but we'll see if we can get her to make a couple of those. Well, how often can we gather that? I think we can gather them like maybe once every few hours. And we'll analyze these, analyze the fossil prints, and we'll sell them. And look at that. Isn't that just the coolest thing in the world? I love this light. I like want this light in real life, please. Oh, that would be so inspirational. I could lay in bed and just look at that for hours. I bet that's what Lily does, because she is working hard. She wants to get promoted. Right there, get promotion. Uh, let's see, we're not going to travel to the library right now, dear. She wants to share some ideas, but she'll be leaving for work soon. And she's feeling pretty focused from looking at the fascinating specimen and just her bedroom because she has the awesome, awesome little blueprints right there and everything else. But while she's at work today, we are going to have Tate, who is snoozing because he was up all night gardening and taking care of his garden. But we're going to have him make a bunch of plant specimens to earn a ton of money. And we're going to fill his room absolutely <laughs> to full to overflowing with fish. So I don't know why it says we have only like two fish. Uh, maybe because we've mounted a fish. But we've got, we've got multiple fish. Um, we have one fish downstairs and one fish upstairs. And we are going to make lots and lots more more fish bowls. <laughs> We're gonna fill Tate's room just to the the brim with fish bowls and see if we can get all 15 fish. That's one of our goals for today. Uh, Lily girl, it is time to go to work. I will give you the few more minutes it's gonna take. Time for work, time for work, time for work. So excited. And she did get, ooh, she got one of the really rare specimens. Sweet. So nothing from that, that third one. But look at that, now we're over $5,000 thanks to the fossil prints. That is just too cool. Wonderful, so she's headed off to work. I wish you a wonderful day at work, darling. Also our shower is glitched, so it's forever on. I'm pretty sure that's not very energy efficient. 
We'll probably have to sell that thing. It's not broken, see? Not broken, doesn't need repaired. Just permanently on. Alright, out you go, Lily girl. There you go. Okay. Alright, now. I need you to work hard. Raise your work performance and come home with a promotion. So I don't remember when she's going to come home. Well, nope. Won't tell me. Won't tell me. So we're just going to have to work with her brother for a little while. Alright, Tate. Let's, let's get your snoozes in. Tate just got the gardening trait. He just... I wonder where it would show traits that... There it is, the super green thumb. And he will find that the plants they garden have amazing vitality, which is... Uh oh, no, not a chance card! A course decision. Lily's already charted the course for her current mission, but Mission Control says that she's headed straight for a previously undetected asteroid field. She doesn't want the ship to get too banged up, so should she try to change her course or st steer very carefully? No, change course! Change course! Um... Uh, okay. Lily tries to calculate the new course in her head, but when she types in the new coordinates, she flies totally off track. Now she's got to work to bring the ship back into orbit before she floats away. What? I'd be a little tense, too. She's feeling tense. From a work event. That was a, da a costly and dangerous error. Dang it! No! Curse your chance cards! We might not be promoted today, guys. It is tragic. Tate, someone's calling you. I guess that's enough for snoozes. Is it your sister? Oh! Iris, no, not right now, sweetheart. Soon this house will be your house. We have to, we have to make it so, though. By working hard. Alright, let's have him come in, take a brisk shower. Poor Tate, it's so dark all the time. I need to download that awesome new mod that they have to uh, make it so you can actually see inside. <laughs> So we'll let him go ahead and there we go. He wants to go for a jog. Oh, that's that's unusual, Tate. Yeah, I'll let you go for a little energized jog. Why not? It's not every day he wants to do that. What? I forgot how he has that little hat when he's in his athletic outfit. Oh, that's so funny. There we go. He went on his little jog. I bet he'll feel a little bit better now. And then we'll send him home because he's not having any fun. Open. Any food? Nope, just empty plate. Time to feed Microbite. There we go. Microbite, can I feed you carrots? Can I do that? Can I turn carrots into... Can I, can I do that? Nope, nope, can't do that. <laughs> that would be too easy. That would be almost like cheating. Alright. Tate, my dear boy. Let's have you go home. Done with your little jog. And we're gonna have him have a quick meal. I always make a special recipe. Let's have a high protein plate. Let's see what that does. Because he's feeling energized. Oh, and he wants to clean something. Cool. Uh, is the sink dirty? No. Oh, hey, it is. And we can clean with vicar. Nice. Look at that disgusting sink. I thought it said clean with vinegar. And I was like, wow, it must be really disgusting if we have to dump vinegar down the sink. I mean, I do that now and then because it's a good idea. Wow, Tate, look at you. So what is, what is this like protein packed meal here? Oh, it's like eggs and peas and meat. So that's like all the protein. There you go. You're going to feel so full after that. Your satiety is going to be through the roof, my dear. All right, come on. Come on. Your sister's having a bad day at work. So unfortunately, okay, don't you clean that up. You leave that dirty dish right there on the table, sir. We have to feed microbite. That's how we're, this is a household where we no longer clean the dishes. We vaporize them and turn them into money. <laughs> So he wants to clean this. What is it like to clean a sink with vigor? Show me some vigor. More elbows. More elbows, Tate. Really get in there. Come on. That's dainty. We want to scrub this sucker. Come on. You're not scrubbing, Tate. Vigor, I said. Vigor. I'm not impressed with his vigor. Eh, it's pretty darn clean, though. All right. He passes the test this time. All right. But let's have him go upstairs. And how many... How many... How many plant her plant slides do we have now? 22! Yeah, well, that's going to keep us busy for a while. <laughs> so we're going to have him come upstairs, and we're just going to analyze plant samples. Which may not be the most exciting thing in the world to most people. But as I said before, in my imagination, Tate and Lily kind of run like a little online print shop. Good, and he's, he's analyzing those samples. Nice, Rhapsody in Blue. 
Let's go through the pile. Where are they? Okay, there's 19 left. There you go. There you go, my friend. Ooh, now he's feeling focused. I bet his logic skill point is really gonna zoom up thanks to this. Let's keep an eye on his funds going up, thankfully. I mean, come on, how could this not be fun? I loved doing this in university where you get the little, like, macro specimens that you focus on. There you go. I love how they're gonna kind of help each other out. Aww. Lily did some great work, but she didn't get promoted, and she's feeling bored from a boring day of boring things. And hi, Iris. We're going to complain about boredom to you, because you're, you're at our house again. Yet again. Good morning, Iris. Or afternoon, I suppose. Iris, do you want to just move in? Do you want to just move in? I'm thinking about it. We're at $6,000 now. Uh, Iris could bring in a lot of money. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. She's she's got to entertain Lily. Let's see. Um, suggest fun activities. Will that help? Oh hey! Oh hey! That actually did help. Lily wants to travel to the bar, huh? Let's see. Enthused about space. Oh, Lily! Okay, I think Lily likes Iris, too. I think she's okay. She can see the writing on the wall. She's like, let's be BFFs because you're definitely into my brother. You two are... I see where this is headed. Oh, You know what? I think we just might do it. I think tonight, because Lily er, is feeling so bored, we might go out and we'll come over here to the little lounge. Maybe invite some of Lily's friends. And we will we'll bring Iris with us. And we'll invite Iris to move in, maybe. After this, let's see. What else does Lily want to do? Share ideas. Where are share ideas? Deep conversation. Friendly. Ask to move in. <laughs> I guess we could do that like now, maybe. Let's see. Discuss. Admiration. Get to know. We don't really want to flatter her. Um, share brilliant ideas. There we go. There we go. Don't worry, we'll still be promoted, Lily. You hang in there. We'll, we'll figure it out. We just have to get Tate to finish this first. Alright, let's drag all these over. That's a nice chunk of money, Tate. I'm so proud of you. This is- I'm so proud of- I mean, look at this! We're literally rolling in it! We will honestly never have to worry about money again! We still have tons of plant prints- or plant samples left to analyze. Look at this! I mean, boom! Oh my gosh! <laughs> it feels almost ridiculous how much money we're, we're getting. And Tate is actually super focused. Look at his little face right here. He is like, I am on this. I am focused. I am gonna do good. Lily, meanwhile, is feeling tired. I wonder, do we have enough to buy one of these sleep... Let's buy a sleep replacement potion. And have her drink it. Because I don't think that she wants to, to sleep. I think she wants to go out tonight and have fun. So let's go ahead and get her a little... There we go. She's like, I don't believe how tired I am. I'm telling you. Science can be exhausting sometimes. All of that math, all of that adding things. Having a more creative spirit like yours would be a good thing. Yeah. Yep, I think, I think we will move Iris in soon. Maybe tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Like, let's let's maybe go... Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. No, don't you dare put that in the sink. No, don't you wash that dish. You put that on the floor where it belongs. Down. That's right. We don't wash dishes here anymore. We feed the trash can. There you go, Microbite. Thank you for the $20. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, we'll have her kind of tidy up. Um, take a steamy shower. And then we'll invite Yara out to the bar with them. Or I think it's like a little lounge, a little dining, dining lounge thing. Because, you know, it's Friday night. They should have some fun. And then we'll have dinner. Let's see, did we have any food in here left? No, no food. So we will have her serve dinner. Banfred de Lapia. Meanwhile, Tate, is this your last plant sample? Almost, you're getting there. There we go. I think those will be the last ones. Two more Rhapsody in blues. I'm so proud of him. 
A three! Good job, Tate. Eight thousand dollars? This is ridiculous! This is so amazing! Like, it, it, it just is amazing! He has made thousands of dollars today. I think we started at, what, five? Four? We've doubled the amount of money this boy has. And he's really good at doing this, too, even if it is the same two prints over and over and over again. <laughs> and that's okay! And I looked it up, I'm trying to figure out, is it different plants you're supposed to collect them from? But I think they're all the same. Meanwhile, Iris could probably really use some attention. We'll get to you, Iris, don't worry. Oh, maybe Tate's too tired to go out tonight, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Where's Lily? Feeling flirty. Oh. Oh. I don't know how that pan-fried tilapia is gonna come out. Maybe a little bit burned. Maybe just a little bit burned. Well, that'll just be more to feed to Microbite. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I think Tate... Wow! Lily wants to woohoo with someone? That escalated quickly. Alright, I think Tate is now done with every one of the plant samples. He sure is. Sell that right there. Look at that. $8,000! Jeez. And I also, let's just sell that little My Sim trophy. I don't really want to collect the My Sims. They're, you know, not really feeling it. Let's put that there. There we go. Meanwhile, Tate has a normal quality pomegranate. That's fine. Okay. That's better. Do you have enough? No, we spent all of his little aspiration points. So we actually can't afford to get him the energy replacement thing. But what we are going to do now that he earned all of that money is we are going to try to bowl or mount 15 of his fish because I think he has enough fish to do that. All right, let's turn on the lights in his room. Turn on all lights, please. All right, Tate, hang in there, my boy. We're going to see how many fishies we can get you. This should be an interesting experience. All right, let's see. Surfaces. And then I wonder, will they go on, will they go like on the shelves maybe? We'll have to see. What about this guy? Right here? Right here? Yeah? Yeah? Uh, Alright, we'll put that there. Put that here. And then we need a fish bowl. Nope. <laughs> nope, it sure won't. So, fooey to that. Fooey to that indeed. So let's try again. Surfaces. Looks like we're going to have to stick mostly to end tables. Coffee tables. Just like endless coffee tables. Is that what we're gonna have to do here? How many can I put on here? Three? Okay, so it looks like we get one fishbowl. Uh, two fishbowl. Can I only put two? Oh man, this is gonna take forever. Are you kidding me? All right, put you there. Put you there. Scoot this over, scoot this over. Coffee table. Gonna do the same thing, fishbowl. So that's five. And then we'll pick up our little fossil, put that there. Let's get this down. Hey, hey, hey. Put you down. This is a child's dresser. We'll just go ahead and sell it. Tate never uses his dresser anyway. And then put this back together. Uh, my sim, you go down here. Okay, froggy frog. We have the fish fish in there. Put another one right there. So we have one, two, three, four, five fish bowls. Um, I guess we'll have to mount a bunch of fish. I was trying to avoid that. Because, you, you know, you kill them when you mount them, but... I'm sure that they haven't all survived living in Tate's... <laughs> living inside of Tate's pants pockets for this long, anyway. Alright, let's grab his other fossil. Looking cool, Tate! Looking cool! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Not bad, not bad. Alright, and then we can fit one more right over here. That should do it. And then, nine, ten. There's room for another decorative object. So, let's see. Can, can I actually, can I put this here and then grab this and then... Can I do this? Ooh, almost, almost. Not quite though. Not quite, not comfortably. Oh, but I bet I could put a little one there. Like a little end table. So we've got two... And then four, six, eight, nine. Uh, we could put the, the frog away. All right, Tate, I'm going to put the frog back in your inventory. We're going to do this. We are going to put all of the, the fish. All right, come here. All right, frog back in the inventory. We're going to put so many fish inside of this house. 
That's gonna be like Tate's monthly contribution to the bills is his fish food. And like fish water cleaner and stuff. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. We need fifteen? Yep. So we've got eleven. I don't want to give up now. We're getting awful close. We actually have the money for it too. Oh hey look, there's a hallway. So 11, 12, 13. And then what about 14, 15? I could let's sprinkle random random fish through the house. I think that sounds like a good idea. Alright, let's grab you. Grab the white one. Let's see, we'll put one right there. Scooch over. We'll put one fish right here. And then another fish right here. And then where should I put the last fish? Uh, how about right over here? Last fish will go right here. There we go. <laughs> this is amazing. There's gonna be fish absolutely everywhere. That's so cool. Just imagine what this is gonna be like when they move into their other house. It's gonna we're gonna have to just make like an aquarium. An aquarium room. That's so cool. Alright, Tate. Now is the very interesting moment where we stuff fish into every single one of these. Add fish. Uh, let's add your kissing grommy. Add fish. Let's add... <gasps> Look, it's up to three! The black-tailed... Uh, red-tailed black shark. Nice. Nice. Add fish. Beta fish. Add fish. Uh, ooh, the tree fish. Don't mind if I do. Hello, little tree fish. Hello! What you doing in there? There's a little beta fish next to you. There's lots of little fish. So many fish! Alright, let's keep going. Add fish. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, let's do another tree fish. And then let's shift it up a little bit with an angel fish. Add fish. And then why not? Do we have a little minnow? Why not a little minnow? Why not? And then add another one. Let's see. Angel fish. We're getting there. How are we doing? 9 out of 15. Add a fish. Salmon. Add a fish. Uh, bass. These are big fish for those tiny, tiny little places. Alright. We getting there? Okay, four more according to this. Add a fish. Salmon again. 12. Add fish. And then bass. Alright, add fish. Minnow. That should have done it! Did I miss one? Hmm. See? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I did miss one! Okay. We'll add one more fish and that should do it. Where should we put it? Next to Microbite? Uh, next to TV. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Why do we even have a TV? They like never use it. Alright, come here. End table. And one more fish. Add fish. <gasps> Look at that! Milestone complete! Tate has reached one of his milestones, and we have now unlocked the level 3 angling ace. Catch 20 fish using bait, have fished for 100 hours, and achieve level 10 fishing skill. So that is fantastic! So Tate now has a house full of fish. Uh, it only costs us about $1,000 for the fish bowls and all of the, <laughs> the coffee tables. Um, I imagine we'll just stick all of those in his inventory in a little bit, and that'll be that. We'll keep some of the really cool fish, like the black-tailed shark, or the black red-tailed shark and fish like that, the tree fish, you know. And so there we go. Lily, meanwhile, next time, since she's feeling so flirty, we're going to take her out with Yara and see if her relationship... In fact, let's not even take her out with Yara, because it looks like they're, they don't have a romantic relationship anymore. Let's just take Lily out... Uh, to the lounge by herself since the two other lovebirds are already here and we're gonna see if she can meet anyone that she can start flirting with a little bit just to help relieve some of the tension from her hard-working uh, days so that'll be fun we'll try to find Lily Lily somebody special too next time which should be really fun but look at all these fish <laughs> That is so awesome. Now we need fossils to put in between all of them because it's just so cool. But all right, guys, I will see you next time and we will have to see if Lily can find a very special someone. Just even anyone, even just someone to flirt with casually. So we'll have to see if she'll find somebody and we will work hard because I think we're getting closer and closer to being able to move the whole crew out 
We'll take uh, Tate and Iris on a good date and then ask her to move in. And then hopefully we can gather up the funds and move into this beautiful house right here. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's just waiting for the lovebirds to move in there and start a family. So I can't wait. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.